everybody, it's Chad Warren at the Adventurer Channel on YouTube and the adventurerchannel.com slash ball. videos like I'm doing right now the most powerful thing is that it's me talking to myself so to speak so that involves us getting over being uncomfortable with ourselves do I make sense to myself right and using our listening skills to imagine what the audience is thinking about so that is getting us paradoxically more able to understand each other at deeper lengths because we have this this communication this connection virtual connection and yet we're forced to be isolated as individuals So we see the popular movie, They Live, is the topic. And then they've combined the discussion about, are these videos examples of actual lizard people, or is this just a video anomaly that's going on? That's combining those audiences, though. You, you see what I'm saying? So, like... Uh, more important than whatever my specific message is, is the fact that we are co-creating together. And we're having to be more aware that we're on both sides of every equation. We are receiving video programs and now we're becoming literate like when writing was new, when the uh, printing press was new, only now it's this video distribution, social media. So 
what I'm saying is that's an example for me personally. Me, uh, I assume that those are video. Uh, there's some fancy word for it, but those are artifacts that come out through the video process. They're they're confusions based on your eyes being closed and then open, but it's just still the way that the uh, video process works is it's it's getting that false image from a, a real image that you know the movement of the eyes opening and closing, for example. So, but, but the, like I said, this person, by combining these different images that they see as valuable, they can handle b these two different ideas. They live, you know, you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to say that, like, we're going to, the number one thing that we're going to have to do now is accept that we all have these different points of view and we're able to see those distinct polarized points of view because people have the freedom to express themselves on their own video. So that changes the environment. Okay. So in general the situation I am seeing is that the truth-seeking independent research movement online is bumping up against the magic occult community because you know while on the one hand I think that I'm starting to see reactions by other members of the truth-seeking community to where they're growing tired of analyzing the 150th video every day there is a bogus school shooting and so even for people like us that are interested in this topics of uh, conspiracy of organized psychological operations propaganda the use of media as a weapon even to us I know myself, I'm really tired of talking about it and I'm ready to do something about it and nobody wants to talk about that. And some people are starting to talk about it and to start to, you know, share their thinking like I'm sharing my thinking uh, with you. Thinking out loud. Which really is, the difference is, is that we are now more aware that we do share a mind through media. Whereas in the past, you know, you would have people that were identifying with Jesus Christ because of the tradition of growing up at church and, and reading the Bible, but more of it being the, the, the tradition of church than reading their Bible. And so... It's about separating the wheat from the chaff. It's about the necessity for us to individually recognize the need to step in and say these people that are authorized are not authorized. It's a battle uh, for who is running the world. Is it uh, these few people that control the many or is it the many who can control ourselves so that we don't uh, have to be dealt with with prescription drugs and a police state and computers that become smart while we become dumb we have choices there seems to be a natural there's fairness that's a question do you believe in a certain idea of fairness so for, for example what I mean is that it becomes depressing as a person that has chosen to I want to know the truth you can't handle the truth Jack Nicholson the actor says as the what is he, Marine officer or something? 
in the whatever that movie was, the Tom Cruise. No, I never saw it, but those famous quotes like that, even if we haven't seen the movie, become a valuable because they're self-evident. Like, now I am seeing that question as, as to me as a truth seeker. Can I handle the truth or not? Will it drive me crazy? Because it, you can't talk about any of these things around other people because it makes them uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. Right? So, and then, then it's not good enough to connect with people on YouTube because so what if we understand each other? We're not connected in the real world. i got to live in the real world. And uh, we got to do something about this stuff. So, I'm looking for the other people, my, the audience that I'm trying to reach, are the other people that may be afraid, but they have a strong draw, like I have a strong draw, to raise my hand and say, hey, you know, I know I look like a crazy person to people uh, because of the, some of the choices that I've made, you know. Um, living in my truck when I couldn't afford rent. But uh, I need to find the other people who realize, you know what, I am not crazy. I am doing something that's very hard to do, and it is shake off this imperial programming. And, and, and I just want to be around the other people like myself. I don't care if you're, what color your skin is. Uh, what language you speak I am looking for the people that want to be defenders of humanity because to me it seems very clear that we've gone past a point to where nobody is running the show the government is the criminal the you know I'm scaring people by even talking about organizing anything. Now I'm considered a terrorist. But yet, we can all look back and have some vague idea that there must have been unions at some point, right, that organized within the, the world of labor and said, hey, we need a five-day work week. I need to have a break every so often and all this kind of stuff, right? And so that, in that example, I think you get reality to where, you, you know, none of us are in only one of these identity labels, Christian, white, male, American, whatever. Part of us is cast in that, you know, this is our turf, and we have to defend it. But then, you know, another part of us is beyond these bodies. It is eternal right now. So what I want you to do is watch this video, Proof They Live as a Documentary, Must See, Quantum Infiltration, Subliminal Messages, Evil Tactics. And, uh... I want us to learn how to be activists, to be cooperators. So I want us to learn how to help each other out, right? So you can help out Affected Collective and myself, the Adventurer Channel, by going to Affected Collective. Somebody start a post, say, you know, the Adventurer Channel sent me here and say what you're comment is about the video whatever valuable information if any that you came to as an epiphany from watching it and that you want to share you know I was sharing hey a I appreciate that you're a woman uh, doing this because I don't really want to hang around a bunch of nerdy dudes it's not my big goal in life to not have anybody uh, you know 
I feel like I can't. I feel that it makes it harder for me to uh, have a girlfriend because I'm interested in these topics and doing something about it. And I've got to hide, hide it. Whatever. Just, you know, bring something to the table of value. And, and what I'm looking for is the people that understand we can start a movement that is positive and we can compete with money and instead of investing in the stock market we have the ability to act as a public information clearinghouse the opposite of the central intelligence agency which is run for the banks by the banks and we can start helping each other out and deciding what we invest in and stop investing in war in banks and all this stuff. We're going to phone it in. What do these things want? And why are they here? They want benign indifference. They want us drugged. We could be pets. We could be food. But all we really are is livestock. And we really are considered livestock, or just as important as livestock anyway. All right, so that, that right there shows what is valuable to me about this video, is it's connecting the fictional movie, They Live, talking about hidden aliens amongst us taking over. But then right there it pivots and it goes, that guy in the movie is right. We are livestock. Here, we're called human resources. Here's the UN's Agenda 21. When they're talking about caring about the earth, well, all of this is all based on, well, the banks own everything. First off, that's just not even up for debate. <laughs> you know what I mean? It says, in God we trust on the money. Uh, that's where your Christian religion has gone. Money is God more than that, that God, Yahweh, that the Jews follow and the Christians is not the God. So, that right there is what people need to figure out. Yeah, you can talk about God, you can talk about spirituality, and you can do what you want to do about it, but once you start getting in, going to church, and giving money, and going along with the Pope, and the UN, and all this jazz, you're in pure Satanism. Voting for Trump? No, no. No, the United States is not going to have Israel run the world. And I shared uh, with this person, I said, hey, look up, uh, if you type in Kabbalah, Jews are aliens. The whole aliens idea comes from the Jews from centuries ago in their books. And out of the words of this Kabbalah teacher, he's telling you, we were sent here, our belief, and he doesn't say believe, he says we know that we were sent here as, as spirits from this other dimension to take over the earth in the name of their idea of God. So there's the basic way that something that appears good is the biggest evil. Talking about nature, talking about God, they're, they're defining what is good so that they have the justification to push you out of the way to get it. Okay? So, what I'm trying to get us to realize is to stop identifying as like the good guy or the bad guy. Because these two concepts are connected in us. and this is a personal choice, and this is why I'm opening this up for discussion. That's the whole point. It is more valuable to me. What happens after I open this question up to you and what you come up with? Because I don't think that you are separate from me any more than the cells that all make up my body. You see how it really matters how you look at it? Yeah, in one sense, those cells are separate, but they cooperate. It's a symbiotic relationship. It's a codependent relationship. 
I guess that's the right terminology. Uh, so, it, it, it is this kind of understandable confusion where those ideas are part of Jewish mysticism that is most known in the form of Freemasonry, right? And uh, the other way they're the most known is in America. If you were an American and you believe in the Constitution and the right to free speech and uh, the right to free assembly, that was brought to us by Masons. These were people that chose to organize in secret societies because there used to be more of a distinction between what could be talked about in private versus what could be talked about in public. And I think we're mature enough that we can look at our understanding of history, however controversial it may be, and I think we can agree that we went from a world where people were beating the crap out of their wives and having sex with their children, and that's still going on. But because we live in a more open environment, people, you know, are encouraged to tell the truth, to be a whistleblower, you know, hey... President Nixon was involved in a crime for this greater sense of good beyond what the law is today, you know, and to grow into this. That's a, that's a liberal, progressive idea. Versus a false version of that is like, well, let's all curse and let's have children uh, more and more sexualized through media. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think real liberalism was about having everybody become a, a satanic uh, magic wizard that goes to sex orgies with Benjamin Franklin. That a lot of neuroses bad behavior has come from identifying as good guys versus bad guys. And you could see a lot of that ideal still is, is, is strong in my view of the world. I mean, that's, 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 that's basically what I'm trying to make sense and tell you about is that I recognize that I am influenced by Star Wars, that Star Wars is Freemasonic Enlightenment values. It is the Bible of our time. You can sit here and say, well, I'm offended by that. You know, I'm a Christian. Yeah, but do you have your child in front of the Bible? Or do you have them in front of Star Wars? You got them in front of Star Wars. You see what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm asking for people to participate in this American experiment where we start admitting our own hypocrisies in order to free ourselves from our own improper behavior. We need to stop, cease and desist with these authority structures of medical telling us what to do. They're not in any position. They're all criminal. Need to be shut down. That's, that's the level that we're at. You know, people can maybe understand what I'm talking about, maybe agree. we got to get further into the position to where we're able to cause change in the real world and to literally take over our own governments from the 90% the, the that's criminal. I, so I don't have all the answers. But I know, and I, and I have faith, that if we start taking this seriously and we start 
Now we are in the TV. We got what we wanted. People don't believe something unless they see it on TV. Now we're all on TV. So will we believe that? When we're modeling ourselves, we're, we're becoming aware that there is no hard and fast line between what is fiction and what is fact. And we have to not go crazy and we have to be able to treat each other with respect and operate in this new environment. Because there's nobody that's going to save us but ourselves. And the people that continue to sit back and think that Jesus is going to take care of it, I, Chad Warren, am, am placing my bets and I'm saying, I don't think, you know, the Jesus I know is a story character. And it really doesn't matter if he was real or not because the concept is real. If you as an individual try to do the right thing, you know that you will face the same kind of persecution that Jesus Christ did. And that shows you how few of us are serious about anything. I wanted to show you here, because speaking about being serious about something... I think there's information here that warrants a much more serious response than it's been given. There's two examples of subliminal messaging in popular media referenced in this video. One of them is the Pledge of Allegiance that came up in probably the 1960s and before. It's black and white, and, and, and then when the words go across the screen for the anthem, they are animated in such a way that you can see a hidden message that is subtitled to show you what it is. And it is exactly like they live. Obey, trust the government God. That right there is what I'm, I'm attacking. This government God. The, 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 this evil people are using these good ideas of people need to use discipline to use reason to control their actions that conservative point of view but what doesn't need to be the, this Judeo-Christian Islamic Freemasonic occult you know higher authority of these high priests running everything because these high priests they take advantage of their power position and they do things like Edward Benet's, who is Sigmund Freud's nephew, who's the guy that invented uh, public relations, you know, propaganda. He used psychological techniques in advertising so that, you know, in the 50s they were selling sex. A 57 Chevy is made to resemble a woman with these lines, these hips, and all this jazz. So they're speaking to people's subconscious minds without their conscious minds being aware. This woman here, she took a picture of herself with her picture phone and, 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 and accidentally captured the word kill backwards in, in her TV behind her. Now she wasn't watching TV at that moment, so she's not sure. Maybe it's some advertisement for a movie but uh, the, you know probably not probably captured something in the flicker rate you know these TVs now uh, you know operate at like 120 hertz 120 times a second they're flashing an image so they can put in images that we're not seeing but that are affecting us so that really says it all right there. What do you do if we are facing a real threat from within our human nature, let alone our society, a group of people, but within the United States government, within your neighborhood? And then if you say anything about it, a lot of people will think you're crazy. Because subconsciously, they're understanding that they are implicated. So that's what I'm trying to awake us to. We need to start 
wargaming and strategizing. What do we do if we really do live in a predatory environment, right? We're being given these flu vaccines that are full of mercury that are killing us and, and all this stuff that's going on. And we're either going to do nothing about it or do something about it. Right. Mm -hmm. So as far as, as that goes, this picture had to come from only this phone. No other technology. Yeah. I mean, the thing about technology today is that anything is fakeable, almost. You know, yeah. and the great—it's great that you have such a crappy phone. This is the only way. Yeah, it can't be faked. To show that, I mean, that's amazing. That's. Yeah, like I said, the chances of it were probably like winning the the Mega Million lottery that just happened just this past week. Photo, yeah, exactly. But that frames per second. Yes. Why do we? of the planet for a long time. It's not a secret. Uh, very cryptic, but it was also very simple. All of that suggests a high... Yeah, so please just uh, go check out that video and comment and uh if you're the first one there, say the Adventure Channel sent me. Then if you uh, come there after that, please comment under that comment. And then uh, you can submit to me what video should I check out and, and review. Uh, what what would you like to, you know, a topic would you like to see me investigate? Or what action would you like us to take? So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find people that want to participate in a co-creative, cooperative, organizational structure for humanity. We're all got these different points of view. We got to have some people that synthesize that into action steps. <laughs> 